Carlos. Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you Johnny's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. For your sake, I hope you don't. But why are you faithful to your wife if you pay a man to sleep with whores? I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? The road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Arms for the poor! Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock, not mine? Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so... Simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! <laughs> Amigo, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! 
Let's go meet, drink, and then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you have heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! Todo bien, compadre. You did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía, levántese. Usted también. Y allá para, muévase. Eso podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. Me gusta la... I fold. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namak, Sean! You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. 
Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planned to disguise Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Come on. We've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Your health. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the man like on Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> to you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> <laughs> You tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos, up to here. Uh, savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry god for an angry people. <laughs> well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, I, mean, I tried, but well, at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot. My god, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Uh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Well, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Name's Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. Well, they'll know of me in no Salida. How much? Plenty, sir, plenty. Uh, you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell, what? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow. <laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, hasn't yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> Already had me a woman, got me a farm, 
Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts. Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. Are you the foreman, mister? I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollitz. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of morons. Gets in the way of real work? If you say so. Here's the money from Mr. Tollitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> Must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, Gringo. No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. Pesa mucho. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. No. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. Gracias a Dios. We made it in time. Thank you for everything. Will I see you when I return? Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then. Maybe. You should get going. 
Travel safely. Mr. Tollitz, I've got your money. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I damn well knew you were the kind of chap to be trusted. A fine fellow, sir. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities. What? <laughs> report what, Tollitz? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Now, building a country's hard, sir. It's hard. Our opium's nasty business, but it's necessary. Necessary. Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff. Straight from Ongo Bongo land uh, somewhere. <laughs> you use me. Are you a moralist or just a fool? Both, I guess. We provide a much-needed service for the railroad workers. To help ease the pain and loneliness, them being so far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. Eres llorón, maricón, me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito, sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> Afrento, México. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now. Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Baboso, <sighs> ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. I heard the little horse crying in the house over there. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. 
Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico! Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Isn't that beautiful? You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Oh, Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. He's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, and he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they, when I'm little more than a peasant girl? But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you're truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oi! The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! Bye, young. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Mr. Marston, ride with us. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the men you seek. Come. Shut your mouth off, this boy. Gringo. Take that sniper rifle over there. We have men's work to do. Hombre, lo que sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, ¿qué pasa? Uh, 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 Killer like you, uh, deserves fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. <laughs> I need some information, De Santa. All in good time. <laughs> uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> Go get Drogo, get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs>